This is just a quick tutorial on how to use the template pages and how to uh, put them into the rest of your planner. So in GoodNotes, um, in order to select all these tabs, all the tabs at the top and side are linked to the pages, as well as this question mark takes you to the help page where you will find, of course, these videos. So we want to uh, select, but if we try selecting like this, we're in the pin function, so it's gonna just write on our planner. And of course, we want to select a page. So you do have to come up here to this right-hand tab. Hopefully you don't have 7% power like I do. Right-hand tab, select that pin to disable that pin function. And then you can use your pin or your finger to touch the tab that you'd like to go to. So I touched the January tab and it took me there. Another thing is going to be these um, little flags on the right-hand side of your calendar view. These go to your weeks. So if you select it, it'll take you to the week of that uh, or the weekly spread of that day. I do want to point out that your weeks for this planner are Monday through Sunday. And so this flag goes for Monday the 6th through the 12th. So we're going to uh, pull a template in. With this planner, you did get multiple pages of uh, template pages. So some of them you already have up here in this uh, left-hand corner. We have tabs for our household finances, meal prep. You also have them here, and if you want, uh, that's why I included them there. If you like to have your grocery list or your meal planning, everything in the week that you're working in, then you can do that. Otherwise, I would really suggest just keeping it in this tab and you can either fill it out and then erase it all when you're done, or you can keep multiple pages if you'd like. Just remember that if you have a lot of pages, it, you'll have to scroll through, of course, because they're not linked. So let's go back to our template pages. I've also included several different types of blank pages and a school course schedule and semester at a glance. You also have the monthly overview blank and a weekly overview blank and a daily uh, planning page that's blank. So let's say that uh, you like to daily plan on Tuesday and Thursdays because they're super busy. That's the beauty of digital planning. You can customize this however you want. So you bought a weekly planner, but that doesn't mean that you can't make it a daily planner. So we're going to select there and we have uh, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock available. We write our date here, blah, blah, blah. We're going to come up to this right-hand corner. There's the three uh, dots. And then we're going to hit Copy Page. Okay. So since we're in August right now, I'm going to select August. I'm going to go to the week of my school, which is the 19th. So that one. And I want my page to go in here. So what I'm going to do, I want it to go after. We're going to hit our plus up here. Be sure you select After and hit uh, Paste Page. So that put your new page, daily planning page right after that. And you could do that multiple times. So let's say you want to do one for every day of the week. You can just hit it five times and it'll put it in there five times. All right. Just a quick tip about GoodNotes, you do hit this top one here to see a quick layout of all the pages. Once you've loaded your planner once in here and you've loaded uh, multiple pages and everything, it'll start loading faster. It just has that uh, little bit of a memory lag there. So I can see here that this was the, the page I was on, the week, weekly spread and then uh, the daily pages. So if you don't want to scroll through all the pages, you can just hit the overview, uh, see the thumbnails, and touch the one you want. So that was just a quick uh, tutorial on how to add in template pages into your new planner.